Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to take you along on a very exciting vlog. I'm going to visit the Hammer Museum. It is open now and I haven't been back since my last day of work last March or the March before last actually. So it's been over a year. We had a meeting and we were like, wow, what do we think is going to happen? Are our school program still going to run? Are they going to close down schools? We hear talk about it. And then later that day, we got an email that the museum was closing. So I'm really excited. It's going to be my first museum trip since COVID started. Um, we're not off to a great start. Um, I got my first ever parking ticket. I forgot it was street sweeping and my parents my own fault but I feel like this has made me a true Angelino I mean I've lived here since I was seven but I feel like you're not a true Angelino until you get your first parking ticket so that's not great but we're gonna make lemons out of lemonade I'm gonna stop by a co favorite coffee shop I think on my way and I'll take you along with me check in in a bit share my thoughts before I forget them I'm so happy I could cry I didn't realize how much that space means to me I worked there for two years and even though the shows are different from when I was last working there it just felt like a sense of home and I know that's so cheesy but you know, some of the gallery attendants were the same. Um, we got to see people I know and the show was really good. Um, so I don't think I mentioned this. So this is the Hammers Biennial called Made in LA. This iteration is called Aversion. A version, not an aversion to something. Um, and it's two parts. So there's an installation here at the Hammer Museum and then there's an installation at the Huntington Library and Gardens and if you visit the Hammer you get a free free entrance to the Huntington to see that um, half so what the biennial is is 
the curators pick a theme and it's all artists in the show based in Los Angeles. So maybe they didn't come from Los Angeles originally, but now they work here, hence the name Made in LA. And it was so good. Um, a lot of themes about how the city changed and evolved over the past few years, a lot about gentrification, and then a lot of artists dealing with um, COVID because the show was supposed to go up last summer and museums in LA didn't open for over a year. So we've been waiting for a year to see this show. And so obviously some of the artists had time to reflect on that. And what was really poignant, I think, was points where it, there was supposed to be a performance piece um, or interactive pieces and those were then quiet when usually they would be activated and how that changes the feeling. Um, but it was so good. Um, I really loved a lot of the works um, by Two Feathers that deal with LA, the history of colonization in this land. So here in Los Angeles, the Tongva people are the um, indigenous people of the area. And obviously their land was taken from them and the city was built on top of sacred land. UCLA itself is built on top of some of their sacred land. And this artist dealt with that and pulled from history and kind of genre paintings and history paintings and even had some allusions um, or callbacks to Egyptian glyphs and Mayan glyphs and things like that in their work and I love that. I just, I was so good. I feel so energized. Um, yeah, super excited. Um, just there's something about just seeing art in person and honestly the galleries were so dead um and I was talking to one of the gallery ambassadors that I know and he said since they've opened this was the busiest day and it was so empty so I felt really safe I double masked um and I'm fully vaccinated but I I felt really safe um and I just loved it and I hope you enjoyed it this is probably gonna be a really short video, um, but I hope you enjoy it and it entices you, if you're in the area, to come see it. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.